Hello. Did you miss me? Yeah, bad news, the thing, the commentary thing fucked up and now I'm doing another crappy commentary, like a crappy director's commentary. I seriously have no clue how that happened, literally, like, I was, I was recording the thing, I was, I okay, just, just kept there and then so and then suddenly it just poofed off, like that, for no random reason, but still, last time Wiseman went down, and he was a wuss arse, and a very wussy arse he was indeed. I'm honestly going to say, Wiseman was a very crappy final boss. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Yeah, Helen has a life outside of the dream world. Yeah, you thought she was just a dream world girl? No. One of those girls looks like Clarice, for some reason. very dark sounding again but then again all nights games are usually dark at the beginning and then get happy around the end now you will notice that the three doors for Will's dreams Pure Valley, Lost Park and Delight City are broken this means that only Will can go into those dream worlds and you see that the doors on the right are, are now perfect frames meaning those are Helen only worlds Oh, we have a guest. Is this your first time here, mademoiselle? Allow me to explain. You are now standing at the entrance to what your people would call the world of dreams. The world? Of dreams? Oh, listen well, young lady. Don't be fooled by that name, World of Dreams. I don't mean to imply that the world itself doesn't exist. It is simply... Oh, how should I put it? It is another world. One that you are able to visit only while you are fast asleep. We ourselves refer to it as the Night Dimension. And people who come to the night dimension from your world are known as visitors. Oh, pardon me. I do tend to rattle on. You may call me Owl Visitor. Uh, oh. Oh, what's that? What's that? More like who is that? Owl is very retarded in this world, apparently. Dearest me, you gave me quite a fright. You ought to know better than to startle your elders in such a manner. Hey there. Sorry about the old bird here. I know it's kind of a drag listening to him squawking on and on. Excuse me? A drag? I am simply attempting to welcome this visitor. Who, who are you? My name is Knight. Let me tell you, you'll have a much better time flying around with me than chatting with this old owl. So how about it? Want to dualize with me and try your hand at flying around? Do you... dualize? Flying? Ooh! Knight's here is able to dualize with visitors. The process allows your bodies to assimilate with one another. What do you mean? 
Ah, it would probably be much easier to understand if you just try it. Go over and touch gnats. You'll see what I mean. That is, of course, if you're interested in that sort of thing. And so, yeah. I don't need to explain the tutorial again, as everyone's seen it. And they know how it works, and I don't need to do my awkward voice again. Oh yeah, quick discussion time! Have you ever noticed that Knights always speaks in two tones? Like, one tone is a little lower than the other? I wonder how that works. In my opinion, Knights', Knights is voice, her vocals, are given the Queen Chrysalis effect. Like, one tone is a little lower than the other, like Queen Chrysalis was on My Little Pony. I, you would understand more if you saw it. I'm not gonna say it's Sunset Shimmer effect, because technically she was, her soul was possessed by a demon, and her actual human voice is perfectly normal. Well done. Not really much to talk about, is there? Well, I mean, I guess there's. Ah, uh, no. Oh yeah, James came round. James is a good guy, he's a good kid. And we have some cool friends. M and Will. Like Henry and James are no doubt my best of their friends. Henry's a brony like me and James is a cool kid. He's coolio. Yeah. Well done. Well. Oh. Hmm. Well. Oh. Yeah. I know it's something. It's a very special something of somethingness. And something's always handy. I'm damn good at this game. Oh, this is awful. By the way. Teal, you need to listen to me. You need to see what I do. And it would be nice if you could drop a subscribe and you could like follow me. And we could we could get together sometime. Teal Game Master, you're a good guy. But I feel you need to learn that there are other gamers who appreciate your work and try to copy you the best they can. <laughs> hey, hold on a moment. There's something I forgot to tell you. You see that dark ocean over there? You'd be best off if you don't go anywhere near it. But you have to go there someday, ocean because Wiseman will be waiting. Water? Right. I, I don't really know exactly what it is myself. It's Bell Bridge. But they say it can destroy a visitor's soul. And then, they'll never be able to return here again. Oh my. Well anyway, it's just a story. Let's get back to the Dream Gate. Ooh, how curious. The door to Nightopia seems to have appeared. But then that must mean you must have an idea. What's an idea? And what's Nightopia? Idia are sparks of light that dwell within the hearts of visitors. Here in the night dimension, those idia can give form to the paradise known as Nightopia. Paradise? Oh, come on. Enough with the explanations. Let's just go check it out. Hey, what's your name anyway, young lady? My name is Helen. It's a pleasure to meet you, knights. The pleasure's all mine. Let's go then, Helen. All right. Ah, knights. Long time no see. Out for a walk with your little visitor friend, are we? Uh, Riala. Sorry, knights. I'm under orders to put you away for a bit. Nothing personal. Well, technically it is. No, 
You mustn't go near that monster. Yes, yes. Listen to your elders. You're just a helpless little girl, after all. <laughs> and that voice. What is up with that voice? <laughs> Why didn't he just do that in the first place? And on that matter, why didn't he just so take us straight back to that Nightmare? Was terribly frightening, wasn't it? That would have made it a lot quicker. That was a nightmare. From the dark realm of Nightmare, their aim is to take Idia from visitors in order to destroy Nightopia. When visitors come to this world, they ambush them and steal their Idia from them. In all likelihood, they must have taken your idea as well. Oh, that crimson light! Could it be a red idea? Yeah, the nightmares are lazy when it comes to these two. Ah, yes, I see. That idea must be what called forth this door. You hold the idea of courage. With that, you might just be able to rescue knights. But that is your decision. I will wait for you beyond the door. Go for it, girl. You have to, anyways. So, yeah, the Dream of Ocean Aqua Garden. It is a water-based level. It is a dead giveaway. It would make a lot of sense. I do like a lot of water levels. They've got a nice ambience to them. Which is why I will be looking forward to Tropical Freeze. So this is Nightopia, a paradise created by the idiot. Ah, I knew that you would come. Um, Ellie, who are those little people? Why, those are Nightopians. They're the inhabitants of this place. Normally, they act rather bright and cheerful, but they must be very scared of the nightmares at this moment. The poor things. According to them, Nights is being held in that prison over there. A rescue attempt will not be simple. The key we require is guarded by the nightmares. So, the problem is... Oh, wait! You mustn't rush! Knights! Are you okay? Helen, what are you doing here? I... I wanted to help you. But I don't know if... Helen, is that a red idiot? Okay, that red idiot is enough to take care of this cage. Come on, climb up here using that chain. Let's show these guys we mean business. Yes, let's. So yeah, the music is glorious. And so here's another good old chase scene. I'm quite good at these. Yeah, it'll work in both Will's and Helen's story. The first mission will always be a good old chase. Chase down three Goodles, grab the keys, and then face the Nightmare in. That awaits you in the other world. I think it's a completely different world because. They do alter reality a little and want to take you to their arena. You saw that clown, the chameleon and Cerberus take me to other worlds when I fought them. So likewise, it'll do the same for Helen's story. You know, interesting fact. Um, I initially thought that the I initially thought the Octopore missions would be 30, 40, and 50 here. 
but it turns out later on in this video it's 25 ling, which will make it rather tangible and easy. Like Octopod is a significantly easier task in Helen's. Oh yeah, speaking of which, the octopus with whiskers does return. Little spoilers alert. I did play a few Donkey Kong. No, no, I think the only Donkey Kong game I've ever played was Donkey Kong 64. I didn't finish it, but I had a lot of fun with it. I think I made a. I defeated Boss Free, Mad Jack, but then I got a little bored with it. I mean, I did like the design a lot, but it just got a little boring along the way. Like, maybe it could have been better in some parts. I want... I mainly wanted to continue Donkey Kong 64 up until I defeated Mad Jack, the Jack in the Box of Level 3 Frantic Factory. And I did, and I just felt like there was nothing else to do. I, I was so bored. Mad Jack's theme alone is what is what interested me to play the game. While there is replayability, like in the special mode, I didn't really feel like doing it again. And yeah, I get stuck on an egg, it's retarded, this is the finest. Oh yeah, if there's a rustling in the background, that means I've got Mint Imperials. Birds are evil. Bad, bad birds. Maybe I should do Portal 2. See me raging on a few of the puzzles. So yeah, that could happen. Evidently, this is one of the shortest laps, of, the shortest third lap I've ever seen. But still, it's pretty fun. Yeah, interesting, another interesting fact. Night Aqua Garden was used in Sega Superstars Tennis as well. The Poyo Pop and Knights games of tennis game. So yeah. See, it just changed reality a little. And then suddenly a giant fish which is burned into the bottom of the floor. It's apparently... Oh yeah. According to the hitbox, this thing is called Girania. G-I-R-I... G-I-R-A-N-I-A. Get it memorized? It is a large fish. I just made it into small fry. Get it? Large fish, small fry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm terrible. And there is an A rank, as I expected. Oh yeah, before it even comes up, Helen's records have been added to story mode select. So yeah, if you want to select the story and you want to do, you want to see Helen's records, all the A ranks, all the dream drops, now you can view Helen's records in progress. And suddenly I'm I dream. You have truly proven yourself worthy of the idea of courage. Well, I mean, I just... But it is still too early to celebrate. 
all visitors originally possess a total of five different idioms. And this is the same explanation you, you gave to Will, so we don't need to hear it again. Courage. The remaining four are the idioms. Boss one, boss two, boss three, and true ending. And they are white, blue, green, and yellow, respectively. If you can retrieve them all, then peace will be restored to Nightopia. Idia are the very source of Nightopia. The fact that Nightopia currently exists at all means that the other idea must be someplace in this world, most likely hidden. Listen well, visitor. These idia are of your very heart. Retrieve the remaining four idia, and your heart will win out over Nightmare. I understand, Owl. But what do you expect me to do? You needn't worry. Nights is with you. And I will do what I can to keep an eye on you and help you out to the best of my abilities. And yeah, that happened. So yeah. Same explanation as before is unnecessary and needlessly complicated. Cliche. Still, look at look at her dress. It's flapping. Is it a dress or a skirt? I can't be sure. It does look a lot more like a dress than a skirt. I can't believe this. Even with the nightmarins out there, these fellows are so carefree. I guess that's part of what makes Nightopia such a great place. Oh, look! Owl is over there too! <laughs> oh my god! Hello, YouTube. Oh, yeah. I suppose you've already observed my uh, lack of grace, have you? <laughs> well, you mustn't kid yourself, my dears. This is not as easy as it may appear. The larger a ball you make, the more difficult it is to control. I, I say, you must respect yeah, the elders. Yeah, that All seems right. so wrong on so many levels. Let's see if you can make a ball that's larger than mine. <laughs> unnecessary testicle jokes are unnecessary. <laughs> they do sound a lot like testicle jokes. And yeah, this is surprisingly one of those missions that I hate. I hate it because the balls of water are so hard to control and so needlessly complicated. I look, I'm screwing up a lot. Yeah, look at how far it went off the screen. Yeah, I will say this is one of the worst games I've ever seen. Of this game. But still, I like the music, it's very nice. Very relaxful, peaceful music is peaceful and very relaxing. This isn't one of the hardest missions I've seen in the game. That is later on in Helen's story. Just wait till we get to World 2 and you'll see what I mean. Sure, it is hard to control, but you get a lot of other water balls into a large ball. Using that logic, you can eventually turn it into a tidal wave. Yeah, look, if you see the red ring, it means I've already reached the score threshold 30. 
I think it's 20, which is the score threshold, but I don't really know. I was just trying to get it over and done with. You know, I I do look forward to facing Garania again. I do like fish bosses. Like you had Lord Wu back back, and you had cheap cheap in Mario Party 9 and. Well, Lord Wolf Fact Facts basically from Banjo Tooie, a Banjo Kazooie sequel. Um, other fish bosses. Were there any other fish bosses? I can't really be sure if there were any other fish bosses. I think there's a fish in Into Dreams, but I'm not really sure. I haven't played that game. Fish bosses. There's something very fishy about them. And so yeah. I was initially wondering when it was going to be a low rank and I'd be scared and terrified, but no. Comes out A. As always. I figured I'd be so kicking myself if it was D or E, because I hate that mission. I decided not to talk for Owl because I didn't really know you could still talk to me in another story. But no, it turns out you can. You can, you can, you can. So yeah. I was guessing there was the octopus with whiskers. Mission 4 is always something technical. Like something very, like a special mission, like the river race, the coaster chase, and the, and the guiding Helen out of the city. So the, other, the only other thing was the octopus with whiskers. Something is poking its head out from that jar. Is it a nightmare? No, no, that's just an octopaw. You're scared of An everything, octopaw? Aren't you? Octopaw? <laughs> He's kind of a scaredy cat, too. If you chase after him, he'll leave behind a trail of rings. So nice to saying there's more than one octopaw. To fly through those rings. It's not as easy as it looks, though. Hey, why don't you give it a shot? You're used to flying by now, aren't you? Come on, let's go. Uh, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> See here, 25 links. It's a lot easier. Because in all three of Will's worlds, it's always said 30 links. And I've already reached the threshold. Sometimes the end of a link can come so fast you don't even know it's coming. So you've got to be on your toes. Or on your tips, or you're on your wings, or on your dust, or whatever. Gah! The point is, you've got to you've got to keep your guard up. You never know when you could fuck up in some little time you have left. I'm saying both just literally will be yours. Did you hear that noise? But if you hear that noise, it means I fucked up the link and it's not enough. Well, I think we're coming up to the last minute, so I don't think there's any closing remarks I want to say. Other than I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the Let's Play, have a nice day, and I'll see you soon, I'll just say it now. By the way, as an A rank, I get a lot of A ranks on the Octopore missions. I guess that weird yet calming music helps me win. Yeah, Octopore gets its own theme. Mm. 
Oh right, there it is. Well, this was pretty fun. I'll see you guys soon, hopefully in the near future. But other than that, enjoy just waiting, I guess. Thank you.